guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Mowers and Blowers again. Uh, it's been a very busy week for me. My uh, son's graduating from high school. My daughter's moving up to high school. Uh, you know, lots of dinners and lots of family flying in from around the country and stuff. And uh, so I've been really busy. I'm glad I had a bunch of videos that I could, you know, still uh, upload so that you guys would still have a video per day, you know. But I'll tell you, it's getting kind of tough because uh, I haven't seen anything for like a week out there, you know. Um, my buddy Jason Pate has, uh, you know, sent me some stuff about uh, free tractors and stuff, but they're always like really far out east of the island, and uh, they're always like, it's on the curb now. By the time I get there, it's gone, you know what I mean? So uh, I wasn't able to grab any, unfortunately. But uh, so I don't have anything else left to fix. Um, so I'm just going to, it occurred to me that my pride and joy, my Craftsman GT6000, sponsored by Lucas Oil Products, has been sitting here for a while. And uh, as you know, I got this uh, grease gun from my buddy uh, Doug Leap over at Doug's Mowers and Blowers in Altoona, Pennsylvania. This thing works great. Um, I've greased the uh, steering fittings on my John Deere over here. And that Craftsman LT1000 that I just recently sold for 675 that was a good deal. Fast turnaround, too. I got that tractor for free for uh, a week, fixed it, and then sold it right away. The minute I posted it, it was gone. You know, It was in great shape. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to um, grease the steering fittings on your lawn tractor. Um, I'm going to do this one, and then my Black Beauty that I use every day or every week to mow the lawn, I haven't done that. In 18 years, you know, so I'm going to do that today to show you at least how to grease your fittings so that your steering never seizes up and it's nice and smooth, you know. Not that I'm an expert at this, I just learned to do it myself recently. So pretty much every lawn tractor, riding mower, yard tractor, garden tractor has some type of steering, right? And uh, unless it's a Weed Eater 1 or something like that, you're going to have um, grease fittings that might be really dirty, might be covered up by a cap or something like that. You know, most people don't really, you know, look after this stuff, you know. There's nothing wrong with the steering. As you guys know, I had a steering sector issue with this thing that I probably did three or four episodes on. But anyway, there's a, on each side of the steering, there's a fitting over here. And basically, you just take your grease gun, and you stick it right over the fitting, hold it there, and then when you grip onto this thing, it's supposed to kind of uh, grab onto it, whereas you see this one here, the grease is just flying out. you got to push inwards. I'm putting downward pressure and just squeezing several times. And you know what? It was good because now it's stuck on there. Yuck. As you can see, the grease has come out from the very bottom. Let me get you closer so you can see. That was the fitting that I just greased, right? And as I was pumping it three, four times, as you can see on the bottom here, the old grease has been pushed out. So we know that this uh, fitting had a decent amount of grease in there. It just basically filled it up, you know? You got all this excess grease over here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to just put this where the gears are and stuff. I just took the excess grease from my fingers out of blob of it and I rubbed it underneath my steering sector gears just to grease that too, you know. Never waste anything. I'm going to do the other side now. So I know it's hard to see. Um, i got to be like a contortionist to get into this area. I don't want to have to move the whole tractor just to grease it, you know. Try to 
push it in a little bit until it grips. Pretty full because I can see it's coming out already. See, it's shooting out from the bottom. That's it. That's all it is. but I don't want to waste any grease. Stuff shoot shot out from the bot, very bottom. This is the excess grease. And I'm going to uh, feel for the steering sector. Put it on the gears. There we go. All your gears can be greased. Keep out dirt, all that other jazz. I'm going to go to the backyard now and do my black beauty. So as you guys know, this is my black beauty. I've had this for uh, 18 years. Fantastic mower. It's a Murray. Um, 38 wide. And it's got a 12.5 uh, Briggs flathead in it. This is actually a flathead. Uh, I've never greased the fittings on this, ever. And uh, I thought about selling it at one time when I had the John Deere and that other GT6000. But then the GT6000 doesn't mow. It doesn't bag. Uh, the John Deere doesn't have a bagger. But this one has it all. And it's very reliable. You know, I've only changed the oil on this maybe five times in 18 years. Just, uh, before I got into this stuff, I never changed the oil, you know. But... Uh, it runs great. Like I said, I've never greased the fittings on this thing. Ever. Love the white walls. Well, I guess one of the reasons why I never greased the fittings on this thing is because, guess what? It doesn't have any grease fittings on this thing. And yet, nice and smooth, where I can just use my hands and turn the wheel, you know? Uh, so this doesn't have any grease fittings. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Well, you know what? Like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'll just, like, spray some lithium grease in that area if I ever need to. But, uh, Murray, you would never think that Murray makes a quality lawn tractor. But, you know what? This has treated me very well over the years. The Black Beauty is always reliable, always starts up, always, always runs well, and that's why I keep it got a matching trailer too which is fantastic my yard is in complete disarray because since I got my dog Boba uh, he runs out here every day to pee and poo and play and all that so I can't put down any fertilizer because I, he eats everything you know and uh, I guess it looks okay with no fertilizer I usually put the three bag system every season you know what I mean uh, pre-emergent weed and feed turf builder uh, pest control, all that stuff, but uh, can't do it now with the dog. Not to mention that dog, he digs like holes all over the place anyway, you know. But whatever. Those are the things that you got to do when you have a dog, you know. Also, I've got this stuff in the backyard anyway, so it's not like my yard will ever look 
good again anyway, because you just got so much stuff. I'm fortunate to have so much equipment that uh, I don't need to mow the front yard with that uh, Murray because I'll just mow the front yard with the John Deere. It's great to have multiple machines so that you can use a lawn tractor and mow the backyard and then a lawn tractor mow the front yard. It's like Boba is Steve McQueen in The Great Escape. He's trying to escape from the yard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like seven big holes in my yard. So that's how you uh, grease the fittings of your steering with your uh, run-of-the-mill um, greaser. Uh, thanks again to uh, Doug Leap over at Doug's Mowers and Blowers in Altoona, Pennsylvania for this wonderful gift. I really appreciate it. And uh, as you see, I, I use it quite often now. Uh, that's my video for today because I've got nothing else to fix, you know? Just a quick little thing about how to grease your steering. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. My buddy Jason Pate of Pate's Performance on YouTube, he lives a five blocks away from me, he said he has a Toro uh, recycler personal pace frame, just a deck that he was going to get rid of. He asked me if I wanted it. I said, a deck? Of course I want it. I'll find an engine someday, throw it on there, and there you go. Anyway, I'm going to his house to pick it up now. So I'm here at his house. and blows. Blows and blows. Blows and blows. Look at that, huh? Look at all the stuff he gave me. Isn't that cool? Thanks, Jason. Recoil starter. Engine cover, gas tank. Man, oh man, I could sure use those things. Uh -huh. Drive belt cover. Handles. Drive belt. That's a little rusty, but still, it's in decent shape. Really light without an engine on it. Thanks for the parts, Jason. Go check out Jason Pate at Pate's Performance on YouTube. See you guys later. Hey guys, support my channel by a sticker. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.